So what it wants to know is what was the pre-market cap? So basically, how much was John Deere worth? Well, if it had 1.2 billion, that's 1 billion, 200 million, thousands, hundreds. There were 1.2 billion shares, and each share was worth $87.68. So to find out how much John Deere was worth, we would need to multiply those. And I can't do this one in my head. Okay, so my calculator gave me this. 1.05216 e to the 11th. Okay, that is scientific notation. Have you seen scientific notation before? So basically this means, what this means is, hey, move the decimal 11 times and you'll get the right number. So I take this, I'm going to move the decimal 11 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then six more times, which means I'm going to have six zeros at the end to get my 11. So it's 1052160000000. So that's hundreds, thousands, millions. So John Deere's worth $105,216,000 at that point. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to take the price and divide it by how many shares? So the price is 24 billion divided by 250 million. Which is 96. So the price per share is $96. Now back to another John Deere question. So on John on December 4th, John Deere Corporation instituted a two for one stock split. So what was the post-split number of shares outstanding for John Deere? Is what we're being asked. So this just means how many shares were there after the split? Well, we know before the split there were 1.2 billion shares. And they performed a two-for-one split, which means they doubled the number of shares. So 1.2 billion times... 2 is 2.4 billion. After the 4 for 1 split, she owned 12,800 shares. And that would be 4 times more than what she used to own. So we take that value, 12,800, and divide it by 4. Okay, so if it says it's a split, that means that the number grew to start with. But then we have to read here, it says after the split has occurred. So that means it's already have, it already has grown. So after the split, that means there are more shares. So she's got more than she used to have. It's just all about context, just reading it and figuring it out. Because they... they we're going to mix them up. So again, back to John Deere. What was the post-split market price per share for John Deere in example one? So just to recap, John Deere price per share used to be eighty-seven sixty-eight, And then they doubled the number of shares, right? It was two for one. So if you double the number of shares, what's going to happen to the price per share? going to go down it's going to decrease because John Deere still worth the same amount of money but now there are more shares that it's split up between so if there are more shares the price is fewer so how do we find how much is it worth per share well it used to be 87.68 I'm going to divide that by two which gives me 43.84 is the price per share how many shares were there outstanding? We already found that. There are now 2.4 billion shares outstanding. 
So did the market cap change after the split? So did the value of the entire John Deere company change after the split? No, it did not change. It was just reallocated into more shares worth fewer money each. Okay, so when I read this, there was a three-for-one split that was done which means there are three times more shares now than there used to be. It tells me after the split was done, the price was $39.24. Then it wants to know, well, what was one share worth before the split? So what would happen to the price? After the split, the price per share would decrease. So this is going to be the lower price. This is after the split has occurred. We want to know before the split, what was it worth? So we would multiply that by three, and that would give us a value of 117.72. Which is 64 cents, and multiply that by 20. So that is now the cost per share, $12.80. And then we also want to know how many shares were there now. So there used to be 580 million shares, but that number is going to decrease. So we should divide by 20 which would give me 21809. Is that what y'all got? 29 million? 